I'm Frank Fellers, owner of Fellers. This is the Ulfa Top Sheet Cutter. Very interesting tool, and I'm really glad to have Justin Pate here as owner of Rap Institute, and also the world's leading rap trainer. So Justin, I know you're gonna tell us why this particular tool is so important to have in your wrap tool chest. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is a, I mean, it's, I just like it because it kind of is really interesting how they came up with the idea, but basically it's just like a little, little tiny knife, I guess it's a knife, where the little blade just kind of extends to the front. Really hard to see, and I'm definitely gonna show you how, to, how it works, but basically what this does is it just cuts the backing paper. So let's say if I'm wrapping a hood, this composite, I can take a slice of the backing paper away, put it on, can't use my magnets. Or if I'm wrapping boards in a sign shop, I can't, don't, can't use my masking tape, I can cut a little slice of the backing paper away safely without cutting the material. So it's one of those things that's super inexpensive compared to other type of cutters on the market. Durable, Ulf is a great brand, you know, tried and true Japanese company. But for me, it's one of those things where it's just, it speeds up the installation process, gives me confidence, and it's one of those things where there's other tools that slip behind the backing paper that can sometimes damage the film. This, every time, there's no chance of damaging the film. No brainer, I just do things with confidence and it has spare blades in it. And again, to show videos from the Rapids too and wrapping your car, I definitely use it on your roof and hood. We'll show your customers that. Great, great stuff. Interesting tool. Yeah. Great, thank you. Thank you. This is a close-up overview of the top sheet cutter. On the back side of the holder, you can see where the blade is placed and how little it extends from the front. Again, this is just to cut the backing paper. Not all backing paper is the same, so you have an adjustment slider here for minimum and maximum. This adjusts the height of the blade and so for different backing papers you can get the right height. You don't want to get too deep and also you don't want to get too short. You can feel the spring and the tension changes as you adjust it. Over time the blade will dull. Every Ulfa top sheet cutter comes with one replacement blade in the back. It's held in this container here. Simply flip open the lid and slide the blade out. To actually replace it in the holder simply pull the holder apart and on the back side, slide the cartridge out and replace the blade. Once you have a new blade, simply slide it back in until it clicks in place. And then you can put the holder back together. If you're working with a new material, it's highly recommended that you take a scrap piece of material and practice on the backing paper in order to get the right height adjustment. Again, not all backing papers are the same. In this case, a medium tension was used and it just scored the backing paper but didn't cut all the way through. Make an adjustment to maximum in this case, thicker backing paper, and then place it on the backing paper and test it. And again, always make a mental note for each material is different and adjust the tension accordingly. But again, if, once you get the right height, it cuts the backing paper, but not the adhesive. Due to the shape of the holder, you want to place it at a 45 degree angle so it's flush on the backing paper. And you do want to put good pressure on the backing paper so that it cuts correctly. You can put pressure on if you have the right adjustment so it doesn't cut too deep, but enough. But in this case, this is a panel for the, a composite hood. Cut a width of about, let's say, 10 or 12 inches. Remove the backing paper, very easy once you get the right height. Simply slides off and exposes the back of the adhesive in a nice, good, clean, straight line. And this is a perfect way to set up, let's, in this case, a permanent hinge and work the hood properly. So once you do it on a cutting table, highly recommend because it's flat, it's a nice even surface to cut on. Simply roll up either side of the panel and pick it up and bring it to the object that you're wrapping, in this case the hood, and then you unroll the material nice and easy, place it in position, and then you simply squeegee it in place in order to install. But again, it's always right, good to get the right tension and height on the material, so again, having an extra set of hands is perfect. Once you have it locked in position, the installer can simply flip the panel over and release the backing paper. And this technique works equally good in a sign shop when mounting boards or any objects where magnets can't be used. And a quick tip is, once you release the backing paper with the top sheet cutter, fold it on itself, and this makes it much easier to release the liner once you wrap the object. 